So we're gonna crush the garlic head to get all of the cloves separated. So once you have your cloves separated, you're gonna want to remove the paper. So you'll notice that my um, knife blade is off of the board because you wouldn't want to try to do it like this. That's how people get cut. So with your knife handle off of the board, you're gonna wanna give the garlic a little smash. So just with the heel of your hand, just give it a smash. And you wanna smash it enough that you can easily take the paper off, but not so hard that you have smashed the paper into the flesh because then you've just created more work for yourself having to dig that stuff out. Um, you can take the little um, connective part off if you want to. I usually do if I'm gonna be doing a quick saute of something or it's gonna go in a salad dressing. But if it's not, then I'll probably just leave it on there if it's gonna go in a stew or chili or a pot of beans or something like that. So this is a mince. And so we smashed it and then we chopped it up and now we're looking to make a very fine chop, which is called a mince and so it's not perfect little squares or cubes or dice it is a random size but you're looking to make sure that everything is a random shape but we're looking to make everything about the same size so that it cooks evenly you don't want big chunks that don't get done and little chunks that burn all in the same dish 